Now, um, we can talk about electricity and magnetism. And we can do this through two villains, electro and magneto. And I'll just give you a moment, and you can try to figure out which one is associated with electricity <laughs> and which one with magnetism. <laughs> electro was a Spider-Man villain who was struck by lightning while up on a high tension line and thus gained the ability to store electric charge and discharge it at will. Um, certainly, back in the 60s, you could be forgiven if you thought being struck by lightning, presumably while doing something else really dangerous, was one of the greatest things that could ever happen to you, <laughs> second only to wallowing in radioactive waste. <laughs> So here's Electro, and he's just done robbing a bank. And we know he's robbing a bank because he's got a canvas bag with a dollar sign on it. <laughs> I've told my department chairman, I want to be paid in a, with a sack with a, a dollar sign on it. He says, OK, but it's got to be a cent sign. <laughs> Personally, if I gain mastery over such a fundamental force of nature, I don't know if these would be the clothes I'd wear in public. <laughs> but it's just frequently just such a series of bad decisions that leads these <laughs> miscreants to a life of crime. Uh, and then here he's, he's done robbing the bank and he scampers up the side of the building like Spider-Man. And these two people down in the street are saying, look, that strangely garbed man is racing up the side of the building. And the second person says, he's holding on to the iron beams in the building by means of electric rays, using them like a magnet. Incredible. Now, there's two things to note here. One is, of course, the nostalgia for the bygone era when pedestrians used to routinely narrate events occurring in front of them, <laughs> speaking out loud, providing exposition for anyone who happened to be walking by. <laughs> but the other is pleasure of saying, yes, this is a physically plausible use of Electro's powers, because electric currents do create magnetic fields through something called Ampere's law, Ampere's effect. Um, if you grant Electro a miracle exemption from the laws of nature and say he has electric powers, then this is something physically realistic that he should be able to do with it. We know that electric currents create magnetic fields because of an old Superboy story. He <laughs> creates a giant electromagnet because he wants to stop a, a bunch of crooks, a bunch of vandals, really, called the Smash and Grab Gang. So Superboy gets a dynamo, uh, a locomotive, and so a few miles of wire. <laughs> the dynamo give, provides the current. He wraps the wire around the engine of the locomotive. And now I've got the biggest electromagnet ever made, one that can go places. Because these vandals, in order to vandalize this town, have broken into an army base and are joyriding in tanks. Right? <laughs> Fortunately, he says, lucky the railroad runs right through the town. <laughs> I've been to Fargo. I think I know where this is. <laughs> and then he says, what's happening? We're flying. He goes, it's that locomotive. It's a magnet drawing our steel tanks, which is a very special magnet which affects the steel in the tanks, but not the cars <laughs> or anything else. But it's Silver Age magnetism <laughs> that, that's doing its job.